Hey y'all, I uh, got creative again. The other night I was thinking about making a uh, chocolate raspberry soap. And I always try to make things more complicated. You would think chocolate raspberry, okay, she's going to make a batch and she's going to make half raspberry, half chocolate, right? Well, not me. <laughs> I am trying something um, a little weird. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to show you what I have so far. I've got one, two, three batches going, trying to get them all at trace at the same time or approximately close to the same time. I wanted to show you these. These are my little pink raspberry scented bars. They're not as dark as I wanted them to be. Some of the color is still, um, I guess it wasn't mixed correctly or something. This is Melt and Pour uh, Shea Butter Soap that you can buy at Michael's. Um, my stuff is falling off the shelves over there. I'm trying to grab and, and go and grab and go. So I have a plastic tray mold. I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. I get a lot of cool stuff at the Dollar Tree. I love that store. Um, anyways, it's for ice cubes. And what I did was I used the, like I said, the Shea Butter uh, Melt and Pour Soap. And I cut several of them up, put them in the microwave, added some color, added some fragrance. This is Black Raspberry. Um, they come in halves, and I took a little bit of uh, the melt and pour that was left over, and I kind of like glued around and inside so that they would stay together, and it seems to be holding. They're not real, real pretty, but once it gets inside the soap, it's not going to be real pretty. So my intentions are to lay these in like this in my log, um, a couple on the bottom, and then I'm going to float a couple in the center. Okay, I'm going to set those to the side. Then I actually took some Nestle's cocoa powder. And I'm, I'm mixing this right here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. I'm mixing this right here, trying to get it to trace. It's four tablespoons of cocoa powder to um, this half batch of soap that I have going on. Okay. Um, so this smells really, really strong of chocolate, and no, I do not have chocolate oil. Chocolate is expensive, and I haven't been able to find it very many places. So, um, and this one has not gotten to trace yet either. But this is kind of, um, I don't know if you can really tell, but this is like a raspberry colored chocolate. Uh, I forgot to separate the two when I put the chocolate powder in, so I went ahead and I put some of, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, here it is. Uh, the little Wilton gel in red, red, or rouge. I put what I had left of that container in there and mixed it up, and it got to looking like this, like raspberry chocolate. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the rest of my raspberry fragrance in the raspberry chocolate only, because I want this to smell like chocolate, this to smell like raspberry, it's going to have a hint of chocolate, and then these have raspberry fragrance in the Mountain Pour soaps. So, my intention is to put the chocolate in my log mold, my wooden log mold, then I'm going to place a couple of these inside, and then I'm going to layer on the raspberry, more chocolate, Set a couple of these inside, because when it gets at trice, and I have to work pretty fast, it gets pretty thick, and it should be able to hold these up once I get my first ones in. Um, what was I going to say after that? Give me a minute. I'm trying to do several things at one time. <laughs> um, oh gosh, I can't remember what else I was going to do. The chocolate, the raspberry, the, oh, the the reason I'm putting these in is because I don't have any raspberry looking molds. And so I think if it works out like it is in my head, which it never does, but inside my head, <laughs> it's a wondrous place. <laughs> um. Anyway, <laughs> when I cut my logs of soap, these are going to be probably, well, my logs are probably going to be like that thick, so it's 
supposed to look like raspberries because they won't be logs, they'll be sliced. And the color is a little bit lighter so that you can tell. Okay, that's what I was going to say. And these are holding pretty good because I just slammed it down on the tray pretty good. Um, anyways, let me get back to that. Uh, and then I've got to, this batch over here is going to be my facial bar, my, um, yeah, my facial scrub bar. I am almost out of that. People are buying that like crazy. And let me tell you, it is awesome stuff. I would not lie to you about that. I used to have really clogged pores on my nose. Um, it's just from oil and makeup and dirt and crap that gets stuck down in your pores. And when you wash your face, sometimes it doesn't get, every, whatever cleanser you're using, sometimes it doesn't get it all out. If you use a toner with a cotton pa uh, ball, you will know when you clean your face, you'll still see makeup and stuff that's left on your face. Well, these little facial scrub bars that I have, um, I use, they're small. Here's the only one I have left. They're small. Um, it's all natural. There's no scent. This has oatmeal, orange peel, and I can't remember. There's something else in there. I'll have to look at my recipe. But they're small, but I only charge $3 for these. And one of my customers calls it a miracle bar, which it really is a good name because it clears my pores up real good. And I can tell when I'm misusing it because my pores start getting clogged again and they start looking uh, pretty sad. But what I do when I use mine is this little corner of the small bar, this little corner gets right up in that space, right in between your nose and your face, like right around your nostrils. Let me tell you, that is like, oh, it cleans so well. <laughs> so anyways, that's what that other one is about. I'm going to try to go ahead and make some more of that because, like I said, I only have one bar. Um, I had a couple people on my Facebook account message me and tell me they wanted them. And so I've got several people set aside, and this was my last one. And so I was like, ooh, dang, I need to make some more. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm making the chocolate raspberry, the facial bar, and when I get done, I've got to make more blueberry pomegranate because I'm almost out of that again. And that was like my third batch of the really big logs. So um, I'm trying to get all this in in the short amount of time, and if it sounds like I'm hollering at you, I'm so sorry. My mind is going 100 miles an hour with all the stuff I need to get done. Uh, so anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to finish this up, put it in the molds, and I will show you again when I get ready to cut this to see what it looks like. Um, if there's anything else I need to say, I will make another video. <laughs> Until this is ready, uh, see you later. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.